what we're going to do tonight is a bit is sort of an excerpt from a longer work which is called Song of a Convalescent Ayn Rand Giving Thanks to the Godhead in the Lydian Ode. <laughs> it stars Ayn Rand and Beethoven and uh, myself, Michael Yates Crowley, and also uh, Tinky Holloway, who is a drag performer in 1972. And what you're going to hear tonight is actually uh, a section, or, or Tinky Holloway. It is Saturday night at the Club Apollo in Peoria, Illinois. The penultimate act, Peoria Clitoria, has just finished her set. <laughs> Tinky Holloway, a drag queen of majestic proportions, enters the club and takes the stage. Hi, good evening. My name is Tinky Holloway. As some of you know, I'm named after a character from Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrugged. <laughs> Saturday is not my usual night, but, um, but um, the host, Berta Reynolds, was sick. So Chick asked me to come in and do a little closing number for you, one of my songs. I'm a bit of a, a shantas. <laughs> but I thought it's Saturday night, and it's late, and they might want something a little more meaty. So I said to Chick, you know, why don't I do a strip tease? <laughs> One thing Ayn Rand has taught me is that reason is absolute. So I was reasoning, what is so hot about a strip tease? You know, it is uncovering clothing that is usually covered. It is, it is, um, it is uncovering the body. But what if we could uncover more than just the body? What if we could go deeper? Anybody. For those of you who are expecting me to do a dance, or take my top off, show you what it is that I have been working with, I have a surprise for you. I'm going, I have something more erotic than my body to share with you tonight, which is my mind. And this raw, Tinky Holloway, sex mind juju. I call this the dance of the seven mind veils. Check it out. The mind of Tinky Holloway has seven layers. Are you ready to see inside? The first veil is removed. My Facebook status. <laughs> that is my outfits. That is my my favorite colors and my crushes. This is the outer layer of my mind. Do you like that? <laughs> Do you like looking at that? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. I am just getting started. I have not even gotten erotic yet, so you can just sit down. The second veil is removed. That is my memories. That is the history of Tinky Holloway as recorded in the mind. Do you like that? Look, that is my first and second marriage to Chad. And, and then again to Chad. That is, okay, turn it down a little check. That is me at 15 at the Steak and Shake in Sandusky, Ohio. I remember that night, the punks are circling outside, the, wait, waiting for me to come out, but I won't come out. I order a, another strawberry shake and I sip it. And I eat slowly. And they're playing Princess the Beautiful Ones. I'm looking out the window and do you know what I see? A backhoe. I see a backhoe, all alone in the asphalt. Its claw upraised, coming to or going from violence. As, as we all are, coming to or going from violence. And I have a little 
brain freeze from this robbery shake. And at that moment, I realized I am an artist. And this is a fact about myself that no amount of suffering or violence could ever dislodge. Let's go on, Jim. <laughs> the third veil is removed. Now we are getting erotic. <laughs> Behold my gender. <laughs> that is the third veil. Some of you have heard the expression, gender is a performance, if you went to a liberal arts school. <laughs> this is true, gender is a performance. But some gender is like an awkward 14-year-old reading a poem from her journal about the sunset. And some gender is like a floor show in Vegas. Lasers and motherfucking pyrotechnics and French Canadians in spandex doing aerial and, and flipping themselves above the whole crowd so everyone is like, holy fuck, did you just see what they just did? That is Tinky Holloway's gender. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you for your suggestion, but um, if you think seeing my tits is going to get you off, imagine how much more erotic and aroused you will be if you see what is behind my tits, <laughs> which is my system of values. Okay? I don't have to be here, but I am trying to elevate you. Let's, okay, let's get back. The fourth, fifth, and sixth veils are removed. Do you know what a coherent philosophical system is built on? Axiom. And do you know what you call axioms when they are planted and grown in the fertile mind of a truly alive person like Ayn Rand? You call them sexiums. These are the sexiums of Ayn Rand. One, the universe exists. Two, we can penetrate the universe through the senses by, by penetrating it or allowing it to penetrate us. Three, the purpose of life is rational self-interest. Four, the only social system coherent with the photo is laissez-faire capitalism. Do not mock Ayn Rand. <laughs> And she is ten times the artist that you will ever be. And she did that coming from Russia and being a transvestite because she believed in reason. I'm sorry if you're not aroused, okay? Am I not making you hard, ladies? You sit there and expect me to unpack myself while you are just sipping. I can hear you. Sipping, but you are never satisfied. Here I am, unclothing my mind, and you are just sipping. You will not be sipping when you see what is inside Tinky Holloway. <laughs> the seventh veil is removed. A pure burning ego flame dedicated to Ayn Rand. Fall on your knees, you dogs! And beg forgiveness from the overmind, for you have trespassed against reason. You wallow in the pit of no taste. You read genre fiction and anything, and, and you refuse anything that strains your narrow, closed minds. Pray to the white Russian Ayn Rand <laughs> to elevate you from the swamp of your days. Ayn, deliver us from whim worship and collectivism. Be with us in the hour of need, when the punks are circling outside and our hair is coming undone. Give us the strength to make art, when art is not wanted. Render unto us wealth and celebrity. <laughs> Let them see our innermost values, reason, art, and cash money. <laughs> These are my values. This is my beautiful mind. My name is Tinky Holloway. Good night. Thank you. We're going to take a brief, brief break to uh, refill our breasts and adjust our glasses, and then there'll be a music break. Thank you for coming. Good night.